Ow, I just lost all my health. That's a statue. There are a few among the Paimon. Paimon. Just trying to get by some of the opening stuff here, but. I try to have to like follow her at first. That's a statue. There are a few among the set. Hi, Mons. Hi, Mono. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. The power of the wind! Ooh! Did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just as much as they... Uh-huh! If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt. Mondstadt is the city, so perhaps there are also lo Let's move then! The elements in this world- Alright, Navi, I get it. Hmm. And the thing doesn't even have like a end date. Spade is just gonna run in perpetuity. Yeah, this game is absolutely gorgeous. Just an absolutely great art style. Um,
Absorb elemental orbs and particles to replenish energy. Okay, that's how you do it. So unabashedly a Zelda clone, it's pretty funny. version not indicative Ooh, I need some apples Excuse me, sunset, sunsetias. You're back and you have your anime pillow. Oh, I let go. Okay, so I don't need to hold R1. I can just tap it. Yeah, but that's funny because I remember this game a couple years ago. It was literally a Breath of the Wild. Like, oh, we're just gonna clone. Breath of the Wild. And then I remember they got in like trouble, lawsuits and whatnot. Um, and then they just disappeared. And I fucking randomly had an email in my junk folder because it was from China. Like, hey, we're pushing the beta out in America. We wanted this game to be huge in North America. Would you like a chance to take a look at it? So I played it on my PS4 and uh oh, hold on. We got lore. Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking? And Gabriel will be here soon. Oh shit. Who's there? So that's kind of the weird thing, Sean, is that you're actually not wrong. This game has close. like, Paimon I think they said over 50 away. playable characters. Luckily, Paimon managed to grab hold of your hair. Thanks. Just what was that? Hmm. It definitely has. Yeah. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red. Let's go take a close. So like, be careful. It's still Paimon a Breath of the Wild clone. Like it this. has the same sound design, has a very similar UI. Uh, you know, you can still climb anything like in Breath of the Wild. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before. All Paimon knows is Has that dungeons, it's shrines, it guardian spirits, a glider. Okay, we've got it. Now, like, <laughs> it's like, it has every single element from Breath of the Wild in it. Like, it still definitely has all that shit. So can I equip that? The thing is, this game is a lot more RPG than Breath of the Wild is. Like just straight up RPG elements.
like you have attributes you have these artifacts you can put on skill points talents um Ooh. and the other part is is like i guess once i'm done with this like beginning prologue section the game is four player online co-op and i'm like okay but like the game's like really well made like when they sent me the beta code i had no idea what to expect i get random codes all the time and you get like these non-polished floppy kind of early builds and i booted this thing up and i'm like this is super fun right this is where like the gimmick comes in i think right here may the animo god protect you stranger I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mons. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this of course it does. mascot, what's the deal with it? I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two. We've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look. There's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not. I give you my apologies. Uh that sounded so fake. Do you have something yeah. against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Yeah, so this is where it gets weird. Because you literally have, like, tons of, like, playable characters. And they all have, like, so, a unique action. Travelers. What are you doing in Mondstadt? And weapon style he separated from his sister during a really really long journey and like power is his travel buddy helping him to find his sister oh looking for your family huh uh okay let me finish my other stuff first and then i can help you put up posters around the city what exactly is it you need to finish yeah, i know first? i gotta put it on him it's simple you'll understand in a bit so this is where the part of the game gets crazy is that every character is completely different so i thought it was going to be like the main character equips all the gear and then the other characters are just the abilities but it's like no every character has their own levels their own skill trees talents weapons and sub stories and it's just like Oh, that's a nice sword. A sword for chasing away demons. And I guess what happens is when you, you can have the four characters equipped at a time. And when you play co-op from the guide they gave me, the amount of players affects the amount of characters in your party. So like if you play two player co-op, you can choose two people in your party to play with and the guest will bring two characters of their party to bring into your game. Um, but if you have four people, then everyone just picks one dude. And then that's kind of it. Like, I don't think she could even mine this stuff. Did you get the beta for this, Sean? Wait, it's fucking with me. Uh, a hilly churl. Quick, get it. Right. Hey. These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. Ooh. 
Oh shit! Put twin stuff on fire. I'll race you there. You see what I mean? Like it has like that cool uh Breath of the Wild, like you can mess with the elements and stuff. Like I have wind. So I'll create fire if I shoot into it. It's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Nothing to it. Though I've gotta say, you surprised me a little with your moves. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, these creatures exactly. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been a when the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries. So so these annoying creatures have exactly. That said, clear come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safe. So I'm trying to get back to where I was in the PS4 version when I played that one. Um Ooh. Because there's some like cool ass characters, like dude characters that you can grab. And Sean, I'm working on it. I literally emailed them today after I played the PC version. And I was like, so is it possible to get access so my co-editors can also try this? So if they send me something, I'll slide it over your way. It's literally all I want out of Breath of the Wild. I know I'll never get it, but I just want like simple co-op. Like just let me load into the world and like explore the world. Like what Far Cry does, I think it's perfect for this type of game because like this game's scope is massive and the uh, PDF they sent me, everything in this beta is one or no, two regions. Everything I can see with my elf eyes, this is the prologue region. And then there's seven actual regions after it. And as you can see, the draw distance, like this is all playable space. Which is like kind of nuts. <laughs> it's like, this is not some like small uh, landmass to explore. But like the thought of like being able to just chill and like kind of vibe out. Like in a group and stuff like that, like sounds super appealing. Let's make an offering and see if the gods are fun. Oh, I don't want to cook yet. How you been, Sean? How's Red Dead been? I saw you playing it the other day. I was looking at it like... It is reinstalled on my Xbox. Oh, yeah, it's on there. Okay, I got some food. <sighs> oh shit. I made it worse. I made it worse. I'm actually on fire. Oh man, is the PC version running better than it was before, Sean? 
<sighs> it was so rough last time I tried playing it. Okay. I'll reinstall it tonight. Let me officially introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no, but that everyone's but, but everything, Dean? Acting Grand Master of, with Jean on our side, surely even the vi before it, it's a reward. Uh, because this reward is but, I'll treat you to a sticky honey roast. Come with me. All right, I'm almost done with this little prologue section. Then I can start really exploring. Uh, uh, da -da. Wind blade. I like how we had the fable like from trails this used to be a bustling street but with so many storm terror attacks recently the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen except for the local tavern near the city wall over there they haven't been affected if anything their business is better than ever It's funny, I got uh, an upgrade for the climbing in the PS4 version, so like when I grab the wall, I just cross myself up. Hey, is it really gonna let me climb this building? Okay. I didn't know it would let me climb these buildings. I'm the king of the world! Assassino. Oh, there's gotta be some. Uh, I don't know how to jump down. There is fall damage. I don't have to reinstall it. You know, Sean, I think you just don't like being a cowboy with me. Is that what it is? You don't like how I cowboy? I'll show you how I cowgirl. To ride the wind and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Uh, alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. I think so. It's easy to use, Could but be. you still need to pay attention to my instructions. Move forward. <sighs> Thick ass wing glider, bro. The Azuri Dragon. Yeah, when I'm when I'm done with the stream, I'll uh, I gotta check to see if it needs an update or anything. 
Hey, sounds fun. I'll shoot people. Baham you. Just don't forget who you're playing with, Sean. I'm your fall with the power of a thousand winds. Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. I forgot about this, like the little Panzer Dragoon Star Fox sequences. Get fucked, dragon. Dude, it just looks so fucking good It's funny too because the game like I said it's on ps4, but it ran Terrible on ps4. That's why they gave me a PC build like It was native 4k and it looked just like this Which meant the frame rate was like dead it was like 10 to 15 at best like it's not optimized at all. Like they just dumped the PC version so on console. We're like, against the dragon. Are you a new ally or a new fuck storm? It. Storm terror is attacking Mondstadt itself. Kaya, traveler, you've come at the right time. We must. Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? There's my anime boyfriend. Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. Link and Paimon. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short. I see. Oh. Welcome to Mondstadt. Mr. Although Kennedy. We haven't arrived at the best so, of times, I'm afraid. We definitely have to beat Neo 2. Up until yesterday, Neo 2 was one of my favorite end games. In a long time I of understand. any game, I'm not really sure, but everyone has um, their secrets, right? <laughs> it was really, really Relax. cool. First and foremost, but then I finally, the Thelonious, finally I like finished Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now. I think I was on chapter 15, and I just like your fight to defend the city plowed the through the last like no two acts of that game. Of citizens. I don't know if you beat it or not, so I'm not gonna say anything. But holy shit! I'm so glad I didn't Knights bother watching YouTube videos because I almost did. I almost just said fuck it and watch Maximilian's playthrough, but Oof, I haven't felt goosebumps like that since I was like a teenager. It was fucking incredible. I fucking love the end of that game. Oh shit, I have a glider now. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm a little hazy on this, this part. To be the Knights of Favonia's headquarters. Let's head in. That was like four in the morning when I played this part. I'm trying to remember what's next. I think I get like multiple playable characters. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must. Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must. Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. I don't remember her wearing that. Jean, I brought them. <laughs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mom's that welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. Thank you, Jean. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. 
I just say you can tell this game is made in China and not Japan because they are wearing way too much clothes to be Japanese developed characters. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one you think, away from a full-blown breakout. Gee, I wonder why I look so tired. If it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Havonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. What could possibly be the reason? We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Paimon will help too. Let me just say that my son Gabriel today dropped an atomic poop this morning. Good. And that my that room, case, which is a pretty plan. small office, still smells like the poop. With Storm Terror now directly attacked, Lisa has revealed the sources of- Is that so? It's either open the window and turn the AC off to get rid of the smell, or turn the AC on because it's way too hot in here. And the smell stays They're so located in the abandoned four winds temples i gotta deal with the smell storm terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from our objective is to deal with three of the four temples yeah he should actually be coming in I here soon everyone understands why we are only dealing with three yeah i gotta watch him i usually take him at night for a few hours let flocks catch up on some sleep. The storm is rampant. There's and no then we swap off again the next day. Position. All right. We need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. So before I hop off the stream, he'll, he'll, sh he'll make an appearance. Aha, now I can play as anyone. Let's open the wish screen. Oh, I don't remember any of this. Oh, there we go. We got some cool people there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, so... Oh. <laughs> A way to fight. I'm sorry. Judging by the level, I could teach you some element. I want to read some books. I'm just stealing all their books. See you later. Heading out? Thanks again. As a novice within the leave the advanced. Currently playing the Lost Planet Trilogy. Hold L1, open the character screen, okay. Oh, it's an armor set. Okay. Let's 
so much stuff to this game, dude. It's like, kind of wild. Oh, they want me to enhance weapons. Okay. So hit triangle. Triangle. Enhance. Oh shit, okay. Easy enough. For the first one way back, uh, 360. Dude, uh, Jablo, Kelta, Kenny, and I love, love, and there's haters to this day, but we love Lost Planet 2. Lost Planet 2 has some of the most fun and awesome co op ever. And it's such like a mechanically dense game. Like there's so many like hidden mechanics the game never tells you like there's like a whole bunch of mechs that can like join together like fucking uh Oh, hold on Take your pick. You'll find no second rate items of weapons. So it's like, yeah, you're, you're in for, uh, well, it, there was no like separation, the co-op and the single player were the same thing, like not so much in Lost Planet one, but in the second game, you're like part of a crew. So even if you're playing alone, there's like lots of like allied people with you in the missions and stuff like that. Oh no, I'm gonna drown, aren't I? Oh no, I'm gonna drown. Rip. Anime boy can't swim. Oh, currents can help you. You know what I should do though is. Try to jump off this and glide. Nope. Not far enough. Yeah, the campaign's gonna be the same for you, regardless. Uh, and you'll see, like I said, Lost Planet 1 has some cool mech stuff. Lost Planet 2... Lost Planet 3 is really weird because Lost Planet 3 is made by a completely different developer than the first two games. But Capcom was doing a lot when they started on their decline. When they started just handing off their popular games to just random people. Dr. Wagner. Uh, I can't remember. Honestly. But Lost Planet 3 is a completely different type of game than 1 and 2. In actuality, all three games kind of have very different style of storytelling for their campaigns.
but nobody liked three back in the day. That was one, then two, then that's it. That's the only lost planet as far as I'm concerned. Okay, it looks like I have a choice of which temple I want to do first. So do we want to meet Amber at the temple? Ooh, I actually get... Never mind, I'm doing this one. I'm going to the temple of the wolf. I want Kaya as a playable character, so... Doing it. I see where your head's at with that comparison, Jablo, but even less connected than that. But I will say part of everybody's disappointment with Lost Planet 3 was, you know, we had played Lost Planet 1 and 2 and we're excited about another one of those kinds of games. So if you're playing them all right now, back to back to back, Maybe those expectations won't work against the game. So you might have like a different opinion on it. Like I couldn't get over it. Like I, I couldn't get over it back then because I love the original two games. So, but who knows? Maybe you'll play the third one and maybe now a decade later, the third one holds up better than uh, one and two. You know, I don't know. I haven't gone back to it since it launched. That's back when I wasn't reviewing games, so if I didn't like it, I just didn't play it anymore. You know, for all I know, it could be a lot smoother now. Ooh, what's that? What is that? Consolidated wind things. Let's head back to the statue of the seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Well, you should come with me. I'm gonna tell you about the rest later. Dude, I love this game is so much fun to play like I'm really get I really get surprised by a video game, but game has been like a really nice surprise since I stumbled upon it oh look at that temple so I was telling Sean this earlier this game originally debuted as a breath of the wild clone like a hundred percent that's th this with oh shit Hold on. Wind blade. Uh. 
Oh, I'm dying. Oh, fuck. But, of course, Nintendo threatened to sue them out of their fucking ever-living minds, and then uh, they disappeared for a while. And when that happened, they decided to, like, retool the game and, like, kind of give it more of its own identity because it was a strict Breath of the Wild clone with no story elements. And it disappeared for, like, three years. And in the time Tencent came in, gave him some... No, not Tencent. Oh, can I let him on fire? Actually, no, I think it's Mahoyo Games. Is the developer who makes this. Ah, you big blob. And the, yeah, they, they've done a pretty good job of like, you know, they just kind of made it a full blown like action RPG. But they have a lot of those Breath of the Wild elements, you know, they have the climbing, the UI, I mean, the overall visual aesthetic. Except this is on PC and PS4, so it just looks so damn good. And yeah, it has like over 50 playable characters. All the characters are unique. Um, if I show you the character screen. Like every character has their own level and weapons and artifacts and ill trees and talents and the whole nine. And the, it leans really heavy into the Breath of the Wild, like, systemic gameplay things. So, like, all the elements play into each other, like, really well. And once you get past the prologue, which is where I'm at right now, you unlock full online multiplayer up to four players co-op. Which is... I think it's such a fantastic idea. Let it rain. Disappear. You see how I threw that tornado through the fire and it made like a fire NATO and something like that? Like. Not the craziest stuff, but uh, a lot of really cool like ideas just mesh together really well. Um, the game is going to be free to play. This is a beta. I think this is the final beta they're going to do. And as you can see, it's like really well optimized. I don't know how much it's coming across on the stream, but this game looks really really good it's really good looking it runs really well too like if they didn't tell me it was an unfinished idle i wouldn't know it because like the level of polish is very high especially right now with how bad most early access uh free to play games are like this feels like a much higher caliber the than those games. The seven seems to be affected by a monster nearby. Oh, shit. Oh, I made an offering.
I feel like I'm going further and further away from my goal. All right, let's head over there. It's a big tree, though. You can definitely see some stuff to grab. Yeah, real time day night cycle, as you can see. Looking real nice. I feel like this game is what our, like, this game feels like a next gen game in terms of, like, what they're going to look like. Cause there's no anime game I've played that looks this good not even close but I feel like next gen we will start getting more anime games and like mid-tier free-to-play titles that have like this level of graphics I also feel like some of its art style too and like yes they're ripping off breath of the wilds art style pretty heavy but not a bad art style to steal from, if we're being honest. Hi, dude. I mean, best of all, it also uh, it plays really well. Like, I know that's kind of hard to get across on stream. But it's a very tight controlling. I am currently playing it on PC with an Xbox controller using PlayStation button inputs because they haven't programmed Xbox button inputs into the PC version of the game yet. But I did put the PS4 version over the weekend. That's what made me like want to play the game more Another artifact ooh Got a new bow. Much better looking. So I think this game, because so I'll, I'll be honest. I played the PS4 version first. That's what they sent me. It ran very poorly on PS4 because, and mind you, this is a beta. And they said, they told me straight up, hey, the PS4 version doesn't run that great because it seems like they took the PC version and just dumped it on PS4. So the PS4 version is native 4K, 
and all the graphics are set to the highest setting which obviously the ps4 just can't handle especially with an open world this huge with like unlimited sight lines it just chugs the frame rate like really bad um this feels like a game that will 100 percent for sure be on ps5 and xbox series x if by the time it comes out those systems will be the ones that people have that's what my guess is it's also on it's interesting this game is going to be on mobile devices as well and not like a version of the game like this game the way i'm playing it right now like you'll be able to hook up a ps4 controller bluetooth to your iphone and play this it's going to be cross play cross save on every device so you can play it on your phone then you can play it on your pc yeah it's called genshin impact you've arrived that is the title come closer can you smell that something must have happened in the temple I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever is giving Storm Terror extra. Oh, yes. It is going to be lively in there indeed. As bustling as it may be, no. I can't imagine it will be dangerous at all. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore. Yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the Four Winds. Well, also you gotta remember like I'm playing this on the highest settings like I jacked everything as high as it goes It's supposed to scale like really well like scale down and then scale up um, Because it's also coming out on the switch Which is like kind of bugged out uh, So yeah, don't don't think you're not gonna be able to run it or play it whatever You can tone this game down pretty well all right, let's go in this dungeon. Oh, that's the only people I got for a party. I guess I'm going in. Oh, I think baby might be in here soon. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. He has a cool fighting style. Kind of Virgil with it. Oh, he has ice. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. If there's water around, opponents may become wet and become affected by hydro. Cryo skills can freeze water. Hydro opponents, your opponents that are wet. What's the hurry? Unless I'm mistaken. That's really you know, fucking cool. Like I really like how it plays. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange phenomenon. Phenomenon. Uh, something strange happened. And the thing is, like, I was trying to think of like why I like it so much, because there's nothing like revolutionary about it, right? Like, it is, it is heavily based on Breath of the Wild, and the rest of it is like standard action RPG fare. But 
I think it's like the combination of all those elements. It just plays really well and it's really like relaxing. Like, like it's very, very laid back. What happens if I do this? to know how to get to the oh wait i forgot it's, i can just climb anything oh not in the dungeons oh motherfucker very slick yeah i think i think it's more just like it's the overall polish it, it just plays really well um it's really like i said very relaxing just like super chill but there's enough it's not so chill that you get bored playing it or fall asleep like there is a game there there's enough engagement to feel like you're having some kind of influence over the actions of the game Dodge this. like this like gotta use my ice skills to disable the fire you know oh shit ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. stone is a hydro amber breaking it will make everything wet what's the hurry water we can use this to put out fire good idea that's some keen observation we should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight this moment will be frozen in time oh he's virgil He's actually Virgil got swords. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? A man had swords. That is an ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom move. I'm excited about the um storm terror was once one of the four winds I'm not aware of the exact details if you're interested you can ask the acting Grand Master about it it's also why I like the idea of a co-op in this game because uh, you can like oh I'm gonna play as my like lightning and like gravity guy you play as your wind and fire dude and we'll build our party out like that when we're running around. <sighs> is that the thing that Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Bravo. What a performance. You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. 
Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. I love me lovely taverns. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Stormchair's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then, bye-bye. There's no way hilly churls organized an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Whoa, who's that? I want to play that dude. Knights of Aphonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but. Your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. I like cool flame fire sword, dude. Oh, he looks cool. All right, now I have three playable characters. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can then collect them. What is this is the thing I'm confused about like Is this like a gotcha thing that the kind you see confused about how this stuff works so I need eight I need eight of those things in the bottom to buy one of these chicks so is that that thing? An additional seven acquaint fate are needed. Oh, okay. So that's hold on. Hold on. I can, I can figure that out. Hold on. So I go here. I need seven acquaint faints. I have insufficient funds. Oh. I buy these with the stuff I have. And then I can get more characters. Oh, okay. I got it.
I'm gonna save it because I want to get that pack of ten characters that looks pretty crazy. I mean it I it looks like a gotcha system from like a phone game, but you can't spend money in this game, so I don't really think it's microtransactions and you can't spend money, right? Is that, a, is that a, a decent rule or am I being naive? I play RPGs. Oh, trust me, I have all the confidence in the world the game will have microtransactions. I won't let you down. But honestly, like, you know, Exploration knowledge. We follow them and help them get to the destination. Oh, okay. Uh, not easy. True, but you know, it all depends too. Because, like, I've played a couple of those phone gotcha games, and there's definitely some that are absolutely predatory as fuck. Like, uh, Raid Shadow Legends. That game is only existing to take people's money. It provides no game or value whatsoever at all. Unless they want to sponsor the stream. Otherwise, Raid Shadow Legends, clear game of the year contender. But, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. Because uh, I will say off what I'm playing right now. The quality is extremely high. So if they want to put some microtransactions in there to make some money, you know, feel free because I played a lot worse games that ask a lot of money from people. Oh shit. Don't burn yourself. Have you the same? Push your luck.
Level up characters? What are they talking about? Oh. Interesting. Can't break those. Is it? Oh shit! What's the hurry? Pyro meets electro overload. AOE pyro damage and takes effortlessly through otherwise sturdy objects. You know, I think if I was Phil Spencer, it's really tempting, you know, like really, really tempting. Um, I mean, let, let's, let's be honest here, right? If you're Xbox, you're Phil Spencer. Maybe you're a little pissed that now is when this happens because you've already spent what I'm assuming is hundreds of millions of dollars buying all these other studios and now Warner Brothers puts up all these amazing studios for sale. You know, I wonder if he's like, you know, what the hell? Why couldn't have you done this? You know, like two years ago when we were starting this whole initiative. That's the thing about Phil Spencer. I think Phil Spencer would just buy them, right? But we don't know how much money they're willing to let him spend for Xbox to catch up. You know what I mean? It's not like Phil Spencer gets a blank check. Um, however, you got to look at what Warner Brothers has. Now, the Warner Brothers deal, I read it. It specifies it's not just the developers. You're also getting a license to work with their properties. So you look at the properties Warner Brothers have, and that becomes very extensive and lucrative. Because you have like all of DC, for example, Lord of the Rings, all those movies that, you know, Warner Brothers owns, all that media that they own. You have a license to use all those assets for God knows how many years, you know? 
And, you know, on one hand, you have Netherrealm, which is always making some of the industry's biggest titles. I mean, Mortal Kombat to this day is consistently one of the best selling games every year they release one. Injustice, same thing. And they not only know how to make great games, they, you know, you have Ed Boon, who is an industry legend at this point. And I think would instantly become the most famous developer Xbox has ever had if they had Ed Boon on their side. Um, but they're also really good middleware developers. Like, NetherRealm helps like... out a lot with people working on all of Unreal Engine. Like, they helped Rocksteady with Batman. They helped um, the developers Monolith when they made Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor. Like, they provided the assets To work on all that stuff. This moment will be frozen in time. So it becomes, you know, really interesting to think like what they can do. And then you have the developers. I mean, and I know Shinobi said that. But you're not spending billions of dollars to buy Rocksteady and not spending a what a couple extra million to license out the Batman IP for them to make a Batman game. That doesn't make sense. Like, if they, if they have the money to buy the developers, they're not going to spend a little tiny bit extra to also then get the license for the property. You know what I mean? Like, they're not, they're not dumb. Um, but I mostly want Xbox to get it because if it's Xbox, you have Game Pass. It'd be on the Series X, which is a really powerful piece of hardware. And it would still be on PC, most likely. And honestly, they have the best chance at not fucking that stuff up. Because if Activision or EA buys Warner Brothers games, all those studios, five years from now, will be in deep shit or no longer exist or only serve to make maps for Call of Duty. And that's it. Seems all the other knights already have their. Hands you go back in the history of EA and Activision, and no matter how great the studio is that they own, that's the fate that befalls them every single time. Sledgehammer Games, you made Dead Space. Oh man, how about you make Call of Duty maps? Ravensoft, one of the greatest studios of all time. <gasps> Call of Duty maps. You know, I think that'd be a good fit for you. Yeah! Remember when you made that Star Wars Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy? How about Call of Duty maps? Duh! You know what I mean? Like... So I hope... I hope it goes to uh, Xbox. Just because I don't want to lose those uh, studios. Freeze! To the bullshit. You're going to help me. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need a good quest. Basically, things are so. Yeah, I saw Marty sing about Bungie, but that's like. Yeah, I, I respect Marty a tremendous amount, but. Of course, he's going to say those things, you know? He's biased, you know, he was on one side of that argument.
Okay, we just got to a new dungeon. Uh, give me a moment, everyone. I just got to see what's going on with my child and Floxy, and I'll be right back. I promise. <laughs> Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. I didn't know you were such a slacker. Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. I didn't know you were such a slacker. Come on, let's get moving. We're not frozen in place after all. Come on, let's get moving. We're not frozen in place after all. Seems all the other knights already have their hands full.
Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. Back. See how long I can play before he, uh, wakes up. Um, yeah, he wasn't really talking too much about Bungie, but, I mean, of course Activision was shitty. Like, they're Activision. They can't help themselves. I guess I could give this a go. <laughs> Another new character. I knew it. There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Good point. We'd better start looking for a way to get up there then. Do you see the level of animation in her basic attack? That's me pressing the attack button once. Like the book pages and stuff like that? <gasps> Ride this wind current, shall we? Yeah, fire. You're in for a little shock. I get past that. It's an electro monument. No wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweeties. Electro power. <laughs> I wonder if I can shock the water. Ow. Come a little closer. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. I think the idea of using like divinity style like elemental combos is like super dope. You know what? Dodge this. Or oh, the room would flood or something. I think like more games should play off that. Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. Dodge this! 
closer. between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Uh oh guys, you might see the baby for the first time on the stream. Uh yeah, but it's still going in. Uh did you want to perhaps play something? Something that rhymes oh, with You wanna know about this gem? Best best in me? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. So Blades, this is the game I was telling you about, the Breath of the Wild that's a uh, four player co-op. Vision? Just where uh, exactly Jablo, are you from? A three hour shower. <laughs> Get it right. Some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, if we get and we can head and you, you uh, the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. Yeah, that sounds like some Power Ranger shit. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. Uh oh. The dragon of the east, Storm Terror, though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that. And so now you know why Devalin is only able Mind to you, kill three bald. of the four winds because it has been consuming itself from the beginning, because of hatred, I presume. Don't believe his lies. Hatred. Hatred for my hatred drove it to become something. But why would one hate the city? Uh, as a child of Mondstadt, here, take this. <laughs> Bro, I have more body hair on this arm than you do in your whole body. Fucking ten year old in a grown man's outfit. Oh, look at this world, Blaze. We are gonna play this game so much. Dude, they have a guy that's just like your dude in Grand Blue. The dude with, like, the fire sword. Here he is, everyone. <laughs> Chilling. See if I can get the big, uh... He's just chilling. Waking up from his nap. Hanging out. He's still in dreamland right now. Yeah, usually at night I take him. Oh, he's throwing up all sorts of gang signs. Gonna get me banned from Twitch. Yeah, he's uh, he's amazing. The best thing that ever happened in my life. The reason why I have been streaming from the PS4 with no microphone and all that. Um, that's why I haven't been able to stream here or my normal setup as much. Why like every single sub, like Blaze subbing and everyone subbing is like been so helpful. 
Because, like, it all goes right to him now. Like... Whoa. What do you guys say to the chat? He has nothing to say to the chat. Whoa. Oh, then he's not happy right now. Yeah, I don't know how much more camera streams I'll be able to do. Obviously, as he gets older and stuff like that, and when, like, like the Xbox show, it's only going to be, like, maybe an hour, hour and a half long, so I can have the camera on for that. But other than that, I'm just chilling with this guy. He's watching me play all these single-player games. Oh yeah, I know. His neck is crazy. As soon as like he starts like moving his head, he's like He's like Bobblehead Jones all over the place. I'm gonna try to lay him down and see if he will sleep. Okay, I'm back. Probably had to stop the stream soon, but... Yep, he's pretty awesome. He's funny as hell. Let's see, where do I gotta go now? I gotta talk to Amber. Um, hmm. Jump off. Yeah, but Blades, they totally have like that fire dude. That fire dude from Grand Blue is... <laughs> no one asked me what happened to Link. I didn't know there was stamina for flying. I'm sure he's all right. I heard he has really thick ankles and fall damage ain't nothing to him. Ooh, what do we have here? Yeah, dude, I told you it's Breath of the Wild, like, well, I named him Link, but I mean, look at him. It's not like he doesn't look like him. And they have, like, all the elemental stuff, so, like, I can freeze the water. Oh. Like freeze the water and do like all the elemental stuff. Yeah, it has a full day-night cycle. It has like a sight. It has cold. If you're hot, you have to like make sure you're wearing less clothes and all that kind of stuff. But Breath of the Wild does not look or run like this does. Hear that music? Oh, motherfucker! 
I'm trying to relax and be serene. And that's the stream. I'm playing it at 144. And the thing is, this whole area that you see me playing in, this is just the prologue region of the game. Uh, this game has seven worlds, all bigger than this one. And 50 playable characters. So the way it works is, you have uh, four characters at a time. And when you're playing co-op, you divide it by the amount of people you're playing with. So if I was playing with Blaze, I can pick two characters from my 50. He could pick two characters from his 50, and those characters will be who we use together in our group. If you play with four people, each person brings one person. You know what I mean? Uh... Each character has their own level. Kind of nuts. On talents, on skills. And the exciting thing I want to do in the co-op is the elemental combination. So like, this chick can set the ground on fire. And this dude can use wind. And like, spread it around. You're in for a little shock. You know what I mean? Like, I think that stuff is like, really dope. One of these uh spirits. Oh, he's really hurt. Also, the game is going to be free. It's gonna be on PC, PS4, and Switch and phones. Cross play, cross save. Um So yeah, like I said, this game came out of nowhere, like... Like, this is a beta I'm playing, and this shit has more polish than, like, most finished games. It's very impressive, so... This is it. One of the d these temples have been left to waste. There's a chance that oh, even Storm Terror has given... Yes, I also... Huh? Wait, the wind tier. Let's go in and... Uh, there will be some characters that are randomized, but like this dude, this chick, and this chick are all characters I got from doing quests in the game. There will be some you can get with like, uh, in-game currency, but yeah, probably. They'll probably sell characters for money or skins for the characters. But still, for the type of game this is, like, it's so freaking cool. You Last of the beginner. Open the door. 
Last of the starter dungeons. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. It's just different. It's a different world. The thing is, you gotta remember, like, this game is made in Asia. In Asia, free to play games are how all there's no video games in most asian countries that cost money the data don't cost money um because there's so much piracy and there's very little consoles that you kind of have to rely on selling stuff on internet cafes and laptops and stuff like that um and why even bother selling a box product if it's just going to be pirated anyways so there's a lot of competition in those countries and and let's be honest they straight up decided to uh rip off breath of the wild and that's uh, not a bad game to take ideas from It's also like even in America now look at what free free game is look at a uh, destiny 2 warframe killer instinct apex legends you know those games don't cost anything but they're some of the highest quality well-made games that exist the bunny here to shoot Like, there was a time when you could just make a free-to-play game and, like, oh, the game's free, so, like, it doesn't have to be of a certain quality, but not anymore, not in 2020, because there's too many fucking good games that are free, and you can't get away with the half ass stuff anymore. Think about how many good games are out every single week. Think about what those games cost. Think about how much games you can play that are free and cost nothing. Like, when you're making a game now, you're competing for time more than sales almost. Like, you have to get people to even care enough to want to carve out time to give your game more than like 10 minutes a day. Then you worry about how you make money. But you got to get them playing the game first. There's hella competition everywhere. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter how many different genres. Like, there's only 24 hours a day per person. So, you got to be real fucking good. You got to make a strong first impression if you want anyone to give a Dragon's shit. Breath. Is that where the power's coming from? Great. Yo, I'm spitting bars out here, yo. Ooh, I'm so good. Yo, go take a shower already. 
But at least this way, in the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. Bro, he's half flocks. He already ignores half the nerdy shit I talk about, so it doesn't but matter. Now with storm terror directly attacking the city itself. The winds change, so too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just... I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. Right? How many thoughts are in the game? I think there's over 30 thoughts in the game. You got redheads, brunettes, blondes, silver hair, blue hair, green hair, white hair, you know what I'm saying? You got, you know what I'm saying? Big bazookas, big bootookas. They got everything you need, you know what I'm saying? Also, there's... I beat the first act. Ew, it's finally done. Well, all that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Wanna go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future. You can improve your adventure rank by offering animoculi to the statues. Okay. Oh yeah, there's fairy thoughts, by the way. Ooh, let's go offer something. I just love playing this game, man. It's it's really a lot of fun. See, like this is like the party setup where you you can set up like your loadouts of like your uh, which characters you want to bring with you. I think I can travel to different statues. Let's see if I can go here. Okay, so the leveling is pretty cool because they kind of mix world level and character level, right? So you remember in Breath of the Wild, just kind of uh, naturally as you were playing the game, enemies would rank up. Like those Bokoblins would just be like the red ones all the time, or the Minotaurs would just be like the white ones at some point, you know, no matter where you went. The game kind of has like that element of like you have like a rank, like an adventure rank that determines what type of quest and stuff you're able to do. But then you can go here and you have an individual character level. And each character can go to a certain amount, and then you can get to another higher star level and, you know, pump them up and, you know, all that stuff. Well, no, so what they do is, the character you're using is the one who gets the XP. It's, like, shared in the party of four. But, say you've been playing the game for 50 hours, right? And you just get a character you like out of nowhere. They give you these training manuals that you get from playing the game and when you get your new character you can just dump all of those into that new character to instantly boost them to wherever you are so it seems like it's going to be a, a decent balance
game is so cool. How my man drown in a three foot lake? I may need to get better legs. Oh, actually, let's see if I can get more characters. Can I get the Blaze character? Oh, it's right here. Alright, so I want to get some quaint faints. Alright, so let's see what I can get. I'm trying to roll in this selection here. There we go. I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm rolling for weapons as well. Whoa. That thing looks freaking sick. A great sword. I didn't get any waifus. Oh, but I have me some weapons now. Harbinger Dawn Cold Steel. I'm going to use one of the Harbinger weapons. Give him a cold steel. Oh, look at that. Yeah, basically, basically a loot box. Look at that weapon. Hell yeah. This, but this is the guy right here, Blaze. See, you have the chick up front. You got Jean, but look at the Luke. Just a, a, a dude with a flaming sword. You know what I'm saying? They always got the flaming sword character now in these games. They always got your archetype. But they have other cool characters too. Like I saw, um, like they have like a big brawler style dude, a cool ninja character, a samurai chick. They have like all the archetypes, you know. Oh, also, by the way, yesterday I wasn't even online or streaming because I just played. 
Final Fantasy VII all day, hung out with the baby all day. And the end of that game. I'm not going to say anything else in case someone else isn't being in here. But it's what you call fire. No, they uh they have voices. But only for like the major story things. Ooh, I gotta claim these. Oh, so you have like things you can do out in the world. Dude, that's pretty dope. Because like the way the co-op is supposed to work is like I guess like a main story quest you have to do by on your on your own But when you're playing co-op you can do all the dungeons and these domains And all the world activities you can do in a group So everyone can get their adventure rank up together Yeah, that's freaking it's awesome I am making it. Is that a big wet fart? I'm pissed off. Probably lean forward a little bit. I get that like lift of the crack off the seat. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I made it to the top. Oh, never mind. But that's why I think it's cool, because like I feel like there's not really games like this that have any kind of co-op in them. Uh, from th what they told me, I have to get to Adventure Rank 15, and then the online opens up, which is not a little bit. Like, that's quite a bit of playing. Like, I've already played like, four hours. Or, three, no, three hours. So, it's a decent amount. And I'm just gonna boot the game up and start playing co-op, like, right away. A single wish. You think I go for it, Blaze? You think I just go for the wish? I'm doing it. Yeah, but I'm at rank 7. Rank 15 opens the online, so I literally have only done the tutorial. Like, I'm sure if I do the next batch of quests, I'll, I'll probably have rank 15. They said they aim for around, like, 6 to 7 hours before people unlock the online. 
And when they sent me this, I thought it was a weakened beta. And they're like, no, it's not a weakened beta. It's going to run for at least five weeks. And it'll be open every single day, 24 hours a day. I'm like... And then they're like, oh, but we don't expect everyone to be able to do everything we have even in five weeks. And I'm like... And like, oh yeah, we only have one region out of the eight in the game, in the beta. And I'm like... So... That's a lot. This game is going to be fucking big. That's why I feel like it's going to be, uh... Great on, like, next-gen and all those systems. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna hop off. He's, uh... Starting to wake up and he's getting cranky. So... Yeah, this game is huge. This game is stupid big. Like, it's stupid big. Like, they said there's, like, mounts. You can, like, fly dragons. You could transform into spirit dragons to get dragon armor like legend of dragoon don't get me started like i said i knew nothing about this game on friday and then on saturday they blew my fucking mind and they sent me this and like a huge thing of information i'm like what it's gonna have what oh my god it actually plays good it looks nice it's fun it's online it's free what crossplay how big is it Oh, big anime daddy, put that dick away. What you doing? It's just like... I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect that. You know, I just... <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> 